Hey Dan, welcome to the stream buddy. Welcome, welcome. It's almost night time actually, in the... On the map, we're stuck in the door. We are stuck. Nope, we're good. But what is it? What is 1800? 5pm? I think. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really great with 24 hour time. Too low IQ'd. Six. Uh, see, there it is. Thanks, Brandon. Alright, so I loaded up the trailer. I mean, she's pretty old. I'm kind of concerned that this thing might fall apart, but that's okay. It is loaded. Loaded and ready to go. Dakota. Where's Rick? Um, I don't know. I haven't actually seen or heard from Rick lately. I think his computer's broken from what I've seen on Discord. I could be wrong, though. But I'm not too sure. We do have to buy a new tractor. Or two. Um, I'm not sure where I want to do these bales. Um, this paddock or the other paddock? I'm not really sure. I think I'd prefer to do it in this other paddock, to be honest. Yeah, I think his computer's broken. I could be wrong though. I think I might just do the sausage silage along this fence here, I think that'll work. Right along the edge here. I think that sounds like a plan. Or we could go along there, maybe. Actually, along there might be better. Might drop that there. Brandon with a resub nine months in a row. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. We're just going to drop this bale here. Ah, oh, Brandon, this is what I was going to show you. Uh, fertilizers, spritters. This bad boy. Look it up. We'll be definitely getting one of them at one stage. The old beast. We'll probably... And this was the other one that I was telling you about. It's only a thousand... Thousand buckaroos. I think we'll get one of them as well at some stage. I think. Alrighty, so... I did a poll on Discord. You love it? Yeah, no, I do too, dude. Uh, I did a poll on Discord and on the YouTube video last night. We have two votes for the New Holland T6. The Deutz has zero votes, so we're not buying the Deutz. The Deutz is a no, for now anyway. Hey Jeremy, how you doing buddy? The Deutz is a no I think. And then this thing here has uh, four or five votes I think, but look, it's $112,000. I vote for the New Holland T6. Okay, so you and Vash, so that's made that even then. Pretty much. So my issue with this old secondhand John Deere is it's $112,000 or I can get a brand new 6M which is only $7,000 dearer. So I'd personally rather just get another 6M if I was going to get a John Deere. But hold on, I need to look at the the whole tally thing for this. So Jeremy's gone with the... The John Deere is still winning by one. By one vote. Oh, hang on, is it? Yeah, it is. By one vote. So, what I think we'll do I think we'll get the New Holland and I think we'll get another John Deere. 
Because I, I need two tractors anyway. So, we'll get a New Holland and we'll get a John Deere. For now. Hopefully there might be some more mods come out later on or something and I can just sell one of these or something. So, you definitely think the, the New Holland, Jeremy? I think we'll go... I don't know whether to make it a front-end loader, though. We might just have the brackets there in case. Yeah, you like it? Okay. Alright, so you and Lucky. Lucky voted on YouTube. He says the New Holland as well, so... We'll get the New Holland, so we'll buy that. Brandon with a thousand bits. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. So... I don't really want any tractors over 200 horsepower, because, I mean, this map isn't huge. We don't really need the kind of that kind of horsepower, so... Alright, we've brought that. I also... I might not buy that just yet. We might wait. Two tractors should be enough for now anyway. To be honest. In my opinion. I might just buy the front end loader arms just in case. You know, if we use it, we use it. Sort of thing. So we need a New Holland Blue. That one. Alright. I did install another mod as well. These adapters here and stuff like this. So, kind of just want to have a look and see what these look like. I only just saw these out, so I kind of downloaded them and thought I'd have a look. I'm hoping there might be a set of bail forks in that pack. But it doesn't look like there is. Just looks like a heap of buckets. What are these? Adapters for what? Hmm. They're just adapters. Which is okay. Alright. So we've brought the New Holland. That's not reverse, that is. So we'll go down and we'll grab the New Holland and we'll grab the x tractor while we're down there as well. Seems like a plan. Oh, here's the harvester. We've got to cultivate that paddock at some point. Alright, so... Turn this thing on. Beacon's on. We need that on. We don't need four-wheel drive. Hey Liv, everybody panic about what? What are we panicking about? We don't need any panicking, do we? Alright. Is that front are those arms too big? I feel like they're too big. They I think they're too big for that trap though. Might quickly just try the smaller ones. They do look a bit big, yeah, I thought so too. Let's just, we'll have a quick look at the... I'll just sell them and I'll have a quick look at the um, smaller ones. They look a bit big on that tractor, I agree. No, I know I, know I brought the big ones, but it's 175 horsepower. So it should technically take the bigger ones, but that's okay. I prefer trimmer than the vanilla ones. I'm not a fan of stole at all. Let's see if this works a bit better. Does that reach to the ground? Yep. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. That looks better. So that'll work. Alright, we need that, and I think we are good to go. Good to go to the farm. i got to remember I can't use the, um, I can't use the side panel. And I'm using the steering wheel at the moment, so I have to keep that in mind. If 
Probably should have brought a bale fork while I was there. I preferred the stone ones, to be honest. Not really a fan of it. Oh, and I'm looking at chat and not where I'm going. Yeah, no, I just don't like how the stole ones don't have the proper... The stabilizers on top of the front end loader and all that. And trim, these trimmer ones are the ones that are on my doits at work, so it's kind of just why I prefer them. They're actually not a bad arm, to be honest. And also, another good thing with the trimmer, I know you, it doesn't matter in the game because you can't do it anyway, but these have auto attaching and detaching of a front end loader attachment, which is cool. Very handy. Not that it matters on here, because everything auto attaches and detaches anyway. But it's okay. We've got to figure out what we're going to do to that paddock there on the right as well. At some stage. This New Holland isn't too bad. So we'll just go ahead and pull in here. I don't have any more front end loader arms though for this, um, for the New Holland, so I sort of just have to literally drive this. Do some farm work with what? I think if we go right along here, along this bush, we should be fine. I think. If we go... Yeah, this should be fine. We we'll have to get that bale out of that corner there, though. What about the... I don't know what you're on about, Jeremy. We are going to do... So oh, is that going to roll? Please don't roll. Please don't roll. We need you to stay there. Is it going to roll? I think it's good. We'll do this grass stuff with the um, John Deere, and then we'll go and do the cultivating with the New Holland. How's that sound? I think that'll work. Because I don't have any... I don't have any forks for that anyway. And the John Deere is already set up. Mm, no, I don't have the wrapper the wrong way. Because the wrapper is going to come backwards towards there, so that's perfectly how I want it. That's exactly how I want it to go that way. I'm onto it, Jeremy. Yes, it is. It's how I want it. <laughs> if I had it the other way, it would go down. It starts here, it pushes the bales that way, and the extractor goes this way. I think this fucker's gonna roll, unfortunately. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know, should we go a bit closer to the fence? I know it's right. <laughs> uh, you, you did have me thinking the first bit though. Like when you first said it, you had me worried, but it's okay. It's all good. We are sorted. Alright. Straight on zero degrees, that was good. This is my bale that rolled the other day. The new holler might be in the way, actually. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do with the new holland. I have an idea.
Alright. I want these bales a bit closer so that I don't have to, um... We might just... Just in case. Another thing I like about this bale trailer is I can kind of pick where I want these straps. There's, it's got a lot more strap options, which I like. Alright. Get around that bale. Alright, I kind of want this angled like that. Alright, let's unstrap. I bet you these will roll off. Oh god, that's scary. Don't roll. Don't roll. Don't do it. Alright, we're good. Alright, we are good to go. The extractor is on. And it is going to wrap away with that. That's exactly what we wanted. I want to move that bale that's there as well. Yeah, yeah. the, the trailer's definitely a bit rough around the edges, Brandon. She's, a little, she's seen better days. She could do with a bit of TLC. I think. This is going to be close to the New Holland, but that's okay. We don't want to dent the new Holland, she's only brand new. Uh, it feels weird doing this with a keyboard. After using the steering wheel. But that's okay. Alright. I was doing this today and yesterday as well, so this is great. I get to do it in real life and then come and do it on the farm. Tom never runs. No, I ran into you the other day. That's... I don't normally run into people, though. It was your fault, though. You didn't have the beacons going, remember? Has that rolled? Ah, uh, this isn't going to work, is it? I don't think it has enough power to get up the hill. I'll put another one on there and we'll see. I honestly don't think the extractor has enough power to go up that hill. Yeah, it doesn't have enough power. Okay. Well, we tried. It failed. It was in my own yard. <laughs> um, the extractor actually appears to be bogged. Um, so that's great. Alright, so we're going to have to... How do I get these off? We need them off. It's just not going to work. There we go. Push, 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 push. Turn diff... Oh, I didn't even think about diff lock. Because it, it would have diff lock in real life. <laughs> uh... It's alright. It's alright. If I can get it to fold up. We'll just leave those three there and I'll have to go up the other way. I'll just do it the way I was originally going to do it. She has got no power at all, this thing. Alright. That's okay. I can get it back on the tractor now. So... It's funny, I should have known this would happen. We had this issue in real life yesterday where we couldn't get the thing up a hill. I should have known better. Should have known better, but oh well. What the hell's it sideways for? Is that because I had the wheels turned? Don't know. It's probably because I have the engine still going on it. Right. I'll do originally what I was going to do and just go along here. Uh, 
camera. Mistakes were made, but it's okay. Alright, we'll unfold that. Alright, we need the New Holland to bring the bales back up. We'll just tie them down again in case. That was a bummer. They would have looked actually pretty cool down that hill. You know, nothing like driving in a bit of the bush there. That's okay. Alright. All is good. We'll go ahead and park probably right there. I think we'll work. Unstrap these again. Because that's... This is like a strapping simulator at this point. But that's okay. There's like a bale like here somewhere, so we might as well just load that straight on there. We need to go forward a bit, okay. Alright, that's on there. Probably should have tilted the trailer a little bit out wider, but that's okay. That is all good. Not enjoying doing this with the steering wheel. Ah, uh, with the keyboard, if I'm being honest. This is what happens when you have nice things and they don't work. I'm thinking about sending um, Jeremy and Brandon. I'm thinking about ringing them up and seeing if I can send the side panel back, actually. Because I've only had it for like a month or two. Because maybe there's actually just something wrong with that. Because I don't have any issues with the steering wheel. Uh, the Xbox controller, it's just not set up because all the keybinds are fucked on it, so I can't be bothered fixing it. Maybe one day. I don't mind using the keyboard, it just you oversteer very easily. Very, very easily. How big is the hitbox on that thing? That was interesting. I'll probably fix it one day. Yeah, same here, Brandon, because it doesn't do it in multiplayer. I know. I don't get it either. I don't get it at all. I can use the side panel all day long in multiplayer, like on the dedicated server. It does it on a multiplayer server if I host it, but it doesn't do it on the actual dedicated one. Alright, need to move the new Holland.
I should have gone and rode these all up. I actually didn't realise I was going to do this today, but oh well. That's all good. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know if it's a sideboard issue or not. Just for that fact that you stated. But I mean, I just don't know what else to do with it. I could try updating the drivers again. I mean, that might do something, I guess. I don't know. There's like a, a lump there or something. It makes... Try to go a little sideways. Might have put them too far into the gateway. No, that's okay. Looks like a little bit of ground indentation here in this map. I know it looks a bit... Looks like the ground sort of goes down a bit more than normal maps. Could be the trailer, I guess, I don't know. We might have to turn this a little bit. that way, just a fraction. Have to keep an eye on that. So, I'm thinking about buying the sheep yard. I don't know. What is everyone's thoughts on that? I think I already know the answer from Jeremy. It's only 75 grand for the um, sheep place. Uh, I just need to make sure that that's not going to turn too far. I think it might be right. Might just try and turn it the other way, just a fraction. They're not that hard to take care of, okay. Pretty sure that's what Jeremy stated as well. I've, I haven't done any sheep on 19 yet, so I thought I'd give it a go. Is that a bale down there in the bush? What are you doing? That one's playing hide and seek. 
We'll go right back and grab him. I don't even remember this bale rolling down here, but oh well. That's okay. It's all good. Stay there. Stay there, Bale. They should add zebras to the game. What? Are you kidding? Sometimes I wonder about you. You blow my mind with some of the things you say, Jeremy. They're cool. Okay. Uh, I think the extract is going pretty straight. It's a little bit of a curve in there, but that's okay. And they would be easy to add since there's already a horse in there. Yeah, but what do you? People don't zebra farm. Well, not that I'm aware of. Maybe the zoo farms them, but. I don't, I don't think that would be really go with farming sim, personally, but... Hey, I could be wrong, I guess. I could open a zoo on my farm on the... Oh, God. Just no. Just no. There'll be no zoos on Mercury, thank you. It would be quite... How are you even going to make money off the zoo? Explain that to us all. Because I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's keen to hear this. ground does sink in quite nicely, to be honest. I think that's all the bales out of this paddock. Charge you and Brandon five dollars every time you drive past that. What? No way, are you kidding? I don't think so, Jeremy. I think it's fair to say you may have lost the plot. Yeah, I figured that was going to be too heavy. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. They'll just have to stay there. Yeah. Well, we'll just take the road, Brandon. We will never go past his actual farm by the looks of it.
It would actually have to be a hundred dollars since that is the minimum. Oh god. Well, I can choose whether I send that money, so I wouldn't send it at all. Because I'm not paying for that. I will sabotage the road so it can't be you. Oh god. Just wow. Alright. We are taking the New Holland. Turn that off, there's no need for that to be on. We've still got like two more paddocks of them to do and I... It's just a long time if you bring in one at a time. So... We'll wait till the morning and then... The trailer could do with some repairs. Yeah, I mean she's okay. She's good. It's a very good trailer, Jeremy. Very good. Alright, we're going to head down to the other part of the farm. We'll wrap the rest of them in the morning. It's too late for wrapping. Too much moisture. That trailer is actually a really cool mod, Jeremy, to be honest. I really like it. Alright, this is where it gets dicey. I don't think anyone's coming. Seatbelt. Yep. Hang on, I'm coming through, love. Hold your horses. Great old AI. They just don't like to wait at all. Brandon, are you still there? Because we're coming up to the corner I was telling you about. That's really a bit of a challenge if you have a trailer on the back. Must be here somewhere. I haven't done it with the steering wheel. I've only done it with the keyboard so far. Perfect. It's alright with the tractor, but as soon as you put a trailer on there, she becomes pretty tight. Right, we can turn the beacons off. We don't need them on anymore. Alright. We do need to finish this, though. So, we will use the New Holland for this. Does anyone know when the next steam sail is? Up? Wouldn't have a clue. You'll pass on that tight ship. Of course you will. Alright, so... I won't really be doing this in first person, because I'll miss stuff. I'm not that talented. What are we going to plant in this paddock, guys? Soybean, wheat, oat, barley. Which one of those? Cotton. We're not doing cotton. That's a that's a negative there, Jeremy. I don't think so. Nice try though. Does this map have moldy fruit? I actually don't know. I don't think it does, though. 
I don't believe so. Soybeans are usually worth a good amount of money. Yeah, I agree. Soybeans or oat, I'm thinking, because I... I don't mind getting the bales off the, um... Off the rows, either. It's a little bit of extra money that you kind of get for free. To a degree. I mean, it's not free, you plant it and all that, but... You know what I mean? You kind of get two uses out of it. Which is kind of nice. Thanks for watching, Brandon. Have a good night, buddy. I'll try and talk to you tomorrow. Looks like we missed a spot over there. And that's going to do my OCD. Can't have that. Can't have that chat. I don't know if we should have got a bigger cultivator or not. I mean, it's four meters. I mean, it's not taking us that long, I guess. It's, I think this is probably like the biggest paddock, to be honest, that we own. Yeah, the rest of them aren't this big. Pretty happy with the New Holland actually. It was a nice choice, Jeremy and Lucky. It'll do what we need it to do. What, the cultivator? I'm assuming that's what you're calling a piece of junk, because you literally told me to buy this New Holland. Yeah, I figured that's what you were meaning. I think you missed the beginning of the stream, Jeremy, but I installed um, these couple of mods. I'll show you while I remember. I told you that I was going to install this ages ago in the map that you and I were doing, but that's that really small spray unit. Yeah, I know I could pull a bigger cultivator. I don't want it to pull a bigger cultivator, though. Um, and also this trailer, which I'll buy. We will buy this eventually. It's pretty cheap. 
That'll do the lime and the fertilizer, so that's all good. Currently at the moment though, all this New Holland has to pull is this little cultivator. That's its only job for today. Doesn't sound too bad either, this new Holland. Did you have a good day today, Jeremy? That sucks, buddy. Is that the same headache you had yesterday? I shouldn't sound so surprised. I get them as well. It sucks. I'm sure you'll hear something about a job soon, though. This thing has some lights on it. My day wasn't too bad. I didn't whack myself with any hydraulic hoses or anything, so that was a good start. I 
found that to be a bonus. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I'll probably be on. Maybe. I think we're about halfway done on this paddock though. Which is pretty good. Might just get this little square bit here done.
Just get this last little bit here. But um, it's only going to be a short stream, guys, so that is going to do it for tonight. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and start trying to get back into the swing of streaming a little bit more often. I kind of have had some stuff going on, and um, hence the reason I haven't been streaming, I guess. So I am going to slowly try and get back into it a little bit. Um, but I do kind of want to start focusing a bit more on YouTube videos as well, so keep an eye out for them. But um, thanks, everyone, for tuning in, and I'll see you all next time.